Good morning. It's September 5th, 2012. Um, I want to introduce to you uh, something called aquaponics. It's uh, my first aquaponics system. Aquaponics is uh, the study of hydroponics mixed with the study of aquaculture. Hydroponics is growing plants in water, and um, I'm sure you've seen some, some hydroponic uh, stores, some uh, facilities where they have the lettuce hanging in the water. Um, and then you have aquaculture, which is uh, basically fish farming. And they bring the two together, and they create something called aquaponics. And uh, so basically the fish, um, I have a tank of fish um, that I'm actually going to be getting in about a week. But basically the fish uh, feed the plants through fish waste, and the plants clean the water for the fish. It's a cycle. It's a closed-loop ecosystem. And all the good bacteria and everything that would normally uh, be created out in uh, nature is created right here in my system. And it will naturally, once it gets cycled and balanced, it'll, it'll all come together and work really well. So I'm going to show you my system today, and I hope that you like it. And um, I'm going to take the camera now. And uh, we'll start uh, over here. And uh, before I uh, want to show you what this is right here, this is my rainwater collection system. This is not necessary for an aquaponics system. Um, but I felt it was necessary for me because I wanted to have fresh rainwater. In, in our local city water, you have something called chloramine, and you're always having to add uh, and supplement to offset the chloramine um, so that it doesn't kill your fish. So I uh, created a, rain, a rainwater collection system that I'm pretty excited about. What happens here, we got the downspout, the water comes down here. This is called a first flush system. And so the water comes all the way down. It fills up this left side of the first flush system, overflows into the right side. Once this side fills up, then the water goes up. I have a three inch ball that's in here. It plugs this two inch pipe right here. And then it, as it fills up, all the rain, all the clean water comes down here. The purpose of a first flush system is to, to um, flush off out the gravel and dirt from the, that comes off the roof and, and the gutter. So. Um, Pretty much all the water that's going into your rain tank is going to be clean, fresh rain water that's actually potable and drinkable. Um, there is ways to add, uh, you know, some some chlorine or some um, hydrogen peroxide uh, food grade to help clean your water. But basically, what happens is uh, for this system, I have a pipe that comes out of my rain tank and will automatically top off my system as the plants drink the water and the uh, sun evaporates the water. So this is my fish tank. I'm going to get back to this in one second. I do not have fish in them yet. In about a week I will. I'm waiting for my system to cycle. But what I have down here is my sump tank. And um, as you see the, the pipe that has water coming out of it, that's coming um, from my fish tank. Um, as the water is pumped into my fish tank, it overflows and pours back into my sump tank. And you can also see that black little ball down here. Um, that's like a, a uh, it's a float switch. It's like a toilet. What you see in, in the back of your toilets, when the water level gets um, too low to a certain level, that float switch actually kicks on and uh, helps to fill my tank. Um, so I don't have to worry about topping off my tank. Uh, that can be somewhat of, of a pain sometimes um, when you always have to worry about water levels. Um, as you can see here, I have four sets of PVC pipes coming out of the side of my tank. Those are the returns from the grow beds, which is where all my plants are at. So um, I'm going to walk you down there and show you that in a second. But basically, I have a pump down here in, in this tank. It's uh, actually located right there if it goes down about uh, two feet. Um, it's a 1,590 gallon per hour pump. And it pumps out and goes two directions, to the left and, and the right. To the left goes to my, my uh, grow beds. And then over here to the right, it pumps up comes into my fish tank I got two outlets where it pours in and there's one of the outlets and there's the other outlet so as you can see I got, I got a lot of movement on top of the water it breaks up the surface tension which is what gives your water oxygen so that the fish have plenty of oxygen to breathe once they are added to your system I also have um, you see some some tubing in the corners um, dropping down I have some air stones in the bottom which helps to also create oxygen coming from the bottom of the tank there's plenty of water moving in this system. Uh, it's very important to always have water moving and lots of oxygen um, in your system when, for, for your fish. We're going to have about 100 tilapia in here. 
and these tilapia will get about plate size in about nine months. Um, you know, the goal is to grow them up to be about a pound or two um, before you eat them. So um, this will be a harvesting. Uh, we will be harvesting our fish as well. Um, I'm not a huge fish fan, but I do like fish, and I'm definitely going to learn how how to cook tilapia. I can tell you that much. This right here, I'm actually touching it right now. This is called a slow pipe, a solid lift overflow slow. And uh, what it does is it actually sucks the solids off the bottom that the fish um, leave. Um, so the, the waste that's on the bottom, th th that pipe helps to keep the bottom of the tank clean so you don't have a buildup of waste. Um, and that waste uh, goes back down into my sump tank, which is eventually uh, pumped back to the grow beds. Um, so all, all the fish waste that's pumped into the grow beds becomes fertilizer for the plants and um, eventually we'll have some worms um, in each of the grow beds that is going to break down uh, the fish waste which adds nutrients to your system as well. So um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. Um, let's go over here and take a look at our grow beds. Um, as you can see we, we use uh, river rock here. If I dig down a ways you can see that it's wet down here. That's because uh, the water level um, ma maxes out about an inch below the soil. And um, so the roots always have plenty of, of uh, water. Uh, this system, there's actually a couple different ways to do um, aquaponics. This is a media system or a rock. They have clay pebbles. You can do a lot of different things. Um, or you can do a deep water culture, which is the ones where the plants actually float on top of a raft. Um, and they, the roots will actually hang into the water and you can pull the, the lettuce heads out or uh, herbs, things like that. It's more for green leafy vegetables. Um, you can actually pull it out and see how long the root systems are. So, but this one is, is media. In, in a media bed you can actually grow a lot more things. Um, I have some stevia plants grown in here. I have um, some cilantro. I have tomato plants. Uh, right there is some broccoli. Um, I have a, over there is a uh, green bell pepper. This is a, a beefsteak tomato plant. Over there in the corner is an orange bell pepper. I have five basil plants over there in, in the corner. I have about uh, 10 stalks of corn right here. Uh, I got three more broccoli. My family eats a lot of broccoli. I have another tomato plant. We also eat a lot of tomatoes. Um, I have 11, we're going to see how these do, uh, cantaloupe plants. So I'm hoping that the cantaloupes are going to do well because me and the kids, so we sure do love melons. Uh, we have a cherry tomato. We have a um, zucchini, two zucchinis. I have another, um, here's a grape tomato and another grape tomato plant because we, we eat grape tomatoes probably more than any tomatoes. And uh, we also have in here um, some zucchini and some squash plants. And over there in the corner, the far corner, is actually a mint plant. So um, some of these uh, leaves you can see is, are a little yellow. Um, uh, some of them have a couple spots on them. Um, this system is very early. I just planted these plants about three or four days ago. And um, it's going to take some time for the system to cycle for the uh, nutrients to build up. M my uh, water in my fish tank was actually very dirty. Uh, it still is a little bit dirty because of all the gravel that, that was added. I felt that it was a little bit too much um, when it came to the dirt, so I ended up um, emptying my fish tanks and filling it with fresh rainwater. Um, and so it's, uh, it's actually re recycling. I want to introduce you to something called an auto siphon. So basically how, how these beds operate is um, they operate through something called a bell uh, siphon. And what this device does is it actually uh, creates an automatic siphon where it sucks all the water out of the bed and drains it back to the sump tank. And this is done um, through a couple things. Um, as you can see down here, you see a, a small pipe and you actually see the, the water level. You can see it um, moving right there. It's just about to the top and it's starting. It's just starting to overflow that pipe. Um, so the water level in this bed will never ever get past the height of, of that pipe. Um, so right now you can actually hear it. Uh, draining into the pipe and it's flowing back down to the sump tank but what we want to do is we actually want to drain the entire bed and that's where this device comes in because when you put this bell siphon over the top what happens is air is trapped in the top here and it's going to force water it, if water wants to get out of this bed it's going to force it to go through these holes 
and the water is going to go up and then let's pretend that the stand pipe ends about right there and then it's going to go down that pipe. So in return what will happen is it's actually going to create a, uh, a suction. It's going to create an automatic siphon where all the water of the bed is going to suck and it's going to suck, 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 suck and the water level of the bed is going to keep going down and down and down as this bell is sucking the water out of the bed and when it hits these holes it's going to suck air and when it sucks air it's going to break the siphon and then it'll start filling the bed again um, and let's actually watch it because I'm going to put this o over the top this is the fourth one and we're going to go look at it real quick you see the, uh, the one all the way to the left the siphon just kicked in and it's coming out pretty fast right now and that's what happens you actually see the the one to the right and the one to the left both of those right now are siphoning those bells are siphoning the water and it will drain those beds all the way down to the bottom to when it sucks the air and when that happens it'll break the siphon these pipes will stop draining water and um, as you can see the water all will never ever stop it's always pouring in into the beds so basically the concept is is flood and drain flood and drain flood and drain all day long it's gonna flood and it's gonna drain and basically what that does is it provides water to the roots all day long it provides oxygen to the roots all day long and it, uh, and it also provides nutrients for the plants which is produced from the fish waste um, sometimes you have to supplement your system with iron um, and maybe some uh, seaweed extract but that's pretty much it um, but yeah I mean you get organic plants there's no chemicals in this system if you use chemicals you'll actually kill your fish so um, there's no way to cheat you have to grow organically um, so it, it's a pretty exciting process uh, it took me about three weeks to build this had a lot of help um, I got all this gravel laid on the ground I got the gravel in my beds Dave Baker came out and helped me I had um, Brian Butler help me with the blocks, and I had um, Jeff, uh, Jeff and Krista, they helped me out, um, Matthews, they helped me out, uh, Jeff came over, helped drill the pipes, and uh, he helped to uh, do a lot of different things, he helped to put the gravel in the beds, that was a job, Jay Bloomer helped dig a hole to put this sump in the ground, this is a 275 gallon sump, same with the fish tank. And uh, there's just a lot of labor that people, friends, I just want to say thank you for helping me out. And uh, you will have a reward when the produce starts coming in. So just, uh, just wanted to show you my uh, first aquaponics system. I'm pretty excited about it. And in, in about a week, I'll give you an update when we add the fish. And um, thanks for watching.